How's it going, everybody? So CEO just ended, and uh, I want to take a look at some numbers specifically for character usage and the results of the tournament if you missed the tournament somehow. Um, so GM Cross, or at Cross, has made three charts here uh, discussing certain aspects of the characters that are included in the top. So this is the top 24 character usage for the tournament. So ignoring the colors on the screen, uh, there were six juries in top 24, um, and the rest, obviously, three Lukes, three Gals, three Camis, and then the rest, of course. So we're going to take a look uh, at all the numbers here. And there's some surprising factors, for me at least, um, probably for you as well. So right off the bat, without looking at the color stuff, I think the big the big thing I, w I was really surprised about um, was no JP in the top 24. I feel like this character is definitely a shoo-in to get at least maybe one or two players playing him. Uh, but no JP's made in the top 24, which is very surprising. Uh, another big thing is this Blanca number. This Blanca number actually should be set to 1. But Mena RD didn't play Blanca up until top 8. So this number is a little bit off. Um, but besides that, everything else is pretty accurate. But yeah, I'm very surprised that JP didn't make it in the top 24. Um, the rest of the characters I'm pretty... Uh, I'm, I think for the most part I'm not surprised. Um, maybe I'm su maybe uh, Marissa of surprise didn't make in the top twenty four at least one, but um, Dolls and Geef, Lily and Ryu, I think they're definitely some of the weaker characters in the game for sure. Um, and then I'm surprised maybe we didn't get an extra Ken in there. Uh, Ken is very very strong for the most part. He's like super solid up there with Luke, but uh, only Phenom made top twenty four with Ken, so it's surprising. And maybe uh, Jamie up here too. Um, I think Shadow Mark was the Jamie player, so one of the Jamie players made it to top 24. So let's look at the, the colors. So on this first chart, this is everyone in green has an invincible EX traversal. So if you don't know in the game, no one in the game besides obviously supers, uh, your regular DPs are not invincible. So um, you have the green invincible EX traversal. So majority of the characters that are in the game have them. It's pretty uh, only five characters don't have it. Um, and two people with both Manon and two people with Kimberly both made it, um, and then have a sort of EX reversal. So that's like JP has it as like a counter thing. And then E Honda has an armored headbutt. Uh, but this stat is not too super interesting. Um, regardless of whether a character is a DP or not, usually doesn't indicate if they're going to be strong in the game. Um, especially that most characters in the game have an EX DP of some sort. So taking a look at the next chart. So we have only two colors. We have a character with a plus number on block and a character that does not. So Jury, of course, has one. It's her stand medium punch. Um, a lot of characters in the game have them similar to this, probably a little bit less. Uh, so Guile, Guile actually should be in green technically. His, um, his forward heavy punch is plus two on block, but it only hits standing. Um, so technically he does have one. It's just very underutilized because of the standing part. Um, Ken also does not have one, but his EX or his uh, heavy dragon lash is plus two. So, yeah, he doesn't have a normal one that's plus on block, but he does have a move that's plus. So, that's that's also could probably be in the yellow, maybe, if you want to consider it. Um, but yeah, this stat isn't super interesting. A lot of characters in the game do have some sort of normal. And even the characters that don't, like Ken, uh, they have a plus move. That, um, they have a plus attack that makes them, you know, leaves them at advantage. But the third chart is the most interesting. So the third chart actually has playable in the beta and not playable in the beta. So this list is actually the most interesting or the most telling. Um, as you can see, the zero is full of reds besides the uh, Ryu. Um, I, again, Guile or Blanca should be should be in the top 24 technically. Uh, Mana just didn't play him in the top 24 uh, or until top 8. But we have, yeah, Jury, Luke, Guile, Kimberly, and then the rest of these characters. And then all on the right, a lot of characters that were in the beta. Which makes sense for a game that... Um, actually, let me move my camera if I could do that. Just so you can see this a little better. So you can see JP. Um, oops. But yeah, so... Obviously, you had that, you know, that cracked beta going around. So, of course, some people are going to be very, very comfortable with the beta characters. Um, not to say there aren't strong characters in this. Obviously, JP, I'm very surprised, like I mentioned before. Um, I think Marissa, I, I'm, I'm surprised that didn't make it in the top 24. But the characters that weren't in the beta, like Kimberly, or excuse me, like uh, Cammy and DJ, 
are very, very strong, like easily top five, top seven characters in the game. So I'm not surprised that people pick him up pretty quick. Uh, especially having three camis, which is like, <laughs> camis are very strong, man. People still sleep on that character because of the damage, quote unquote, but you know. But yeah, that's the breakdown for the top 24 character list. So we'll check out the results here. I was looking through everything. So if you don't know, spoiler alert, Mena RD won the tournament um, with Luke and Blanca. That's why I mentioned Blanca. He played him in the top eight. The other big factor in this was uh, the juries. <laughs> um, people were whipping out their pocket juries out of nowhere. Um, both Punk and Idom had juries in the top eight. Fun fact, the only set that didn't have jury featured in the game was the Punk vs. Kaba set. It was Kami versus Guile. That was the only set in the entire tournament that didn't have jury. So jury was everywhere, okay? Jury was all over the place. Um, throughout the top 24 and especially in the top 8. Uh, but I think the big thing was Meta RD with that Blanca. He actually barely played Luke, I think, in the top 8 itself. He played a lot of Blanca. And I think people are starting to... Uh, not sleep on Blanca as much. He definitely has some really, really stupid moves. He has two moves, or actually three moves on block that are plus. He has EX Jump Ball, his EX Lightning, and I forgot what his normal that's plus too. But yeah, he is very strong. I mean, he's a very weird character, so I don't expect people running up online just playing Blanca, Blanca, Blanca. But yeah, he's definitely a sleeper character, especially if you like people that take the time to learn him. So you might want to, you know, study up on that matchup. We might look at um, this set here, Nephew versus Meta RD in the next video, possibly. I'll think about it. But yeah, Blanca definitely on the rise. Um, Jury, I think most people had her in the top five. People might have bumped her up to top three status. Uh, I, I'm rethinking it too, honestly. But yeah, a lot of juries. She's super strong and like very easy to play. Uh, easily one of the best DPs in the game. Uh, next to Gal, that DP is super fast, huge. Great anti-air. Her buttons are amazing. We talked about Jury a little bit in the past. But yeah, crazy, crazy character. Super represented in the top eight and top 24. But um, that's it for me. Um, yeah. First major in the books. We have Evo coming up in August. So we'll see what shifts we have in the meta. Maybe we get more Blancas. Uh, I don't think they're going to have a balance patch before Evo. So we're definitely, <laughs> we might see the return of Jury might happen in the top eight of Evo. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, interesting list, interesting top eight. If you didn't watch the top eight, go check it out. Uh, very, very good first tournament. I'll see you guys later. This is the sponsor of the show.